Hi everyone, and here are some closing thoughts on LEGO City Undercover. I just got 100% in it today, and there are some endgame spoilers, so just fair warning before we get started. And so this right here is the final collectible, for me anyway. This um, was the last one that I needed to get 100% in the game. So, And as you'll see, this is a uh, Nintendo-specific one. And this one uh, was a little easier for me to find because I remember not being able to get here early in the game and found out that there is a, uh, a flying point there for the farmer. And you come up here and... Lo and behold, inside this gold crate is a Mario star, which is really cool. And the guy dances along, and once you get all five of those, you will get the Pop Star character token. And the thing about this game is you have to go back to the police station to unlock everything, and so I did that, which took a bit of time. And as you see up on the screen, I have 100% and I have a little north of 46 hours on the game clock. And here's all the extras that you can unlock. I think one thing that this game could have done um, a little better in terms of giving the player even more to do after you've gotten everything is put in uh, rankings or leaderboards for the various things like the robberies and free runs. That would have been nice to see how you compare it to other people, but there are no clocks on those as far as I can tell. And this right here is the final unlockable, which is a giant minifig. Not sure if it really does anything, but it, it looks cool. He's pretty big, and as you see, I got my Mario hat as well. So anyway, that'll do it for LEGO City Undercover. This is a really good game, and I highly recommend it. And next up for me will be Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. So I'll see you in the next video.